Welcome to H1Z1. Today we're going to be talking about some of the basics of survival. Some things that you can do right away that will help you survive in this crazy, awesome, but very dangerous world of H1Z1. There's some things that you can do right away to make the most efficient use of your time. And so I'm going to walk you through as if I'm just starting out and helping you discover this game. And so first and foremost, the first thing you need to know is that you spawn in somewhere randomly on the map. Now this area probably within this area right here is a spawn location that means that other players could spawn right next to you so you need to be aware of that and some people will just kill you right away for no reason at all but other players are rather friendly and I found that there's a lot of friendly people in this game you can use your middle mouse button like that to talk to other people to let them know that you're friendly if you are a friendly player identify yourself if you have a mic as a friendly player so that that way they know not to kill you now there's a couple things that you can do right away to help you survive in this world and some things that I recommend doing before you actually go look for civilization. Because as you can see right here, I moved back just a little bit to show you, but there's some power lines, there's a guardrail, that means that there's a road there. And so I've already identified where the road is and where I could go to find civilization because I can just follow the road to f find something. And either a road or a dirt path or something will lead you to hopefully some form of civilization. What I generally do though when I first start out is actually run the opposite direction because what I want to do is I want to prepare myself before I go and find some stuff. So you can find some civilization right away if you want to but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to prepare my character to be the most effective for going into a place looting killing zombies and things like that so I've already moved away from the spawn zone down a hill a little bit so you can see I'm a little bit sheltered from where the spawn zone is so what I'm gonna do first and foremost is walk you through a couple things so if you hit T depending on the server you're on you might be locked into a uh, certain view mode but if you hit T you can cycle between view view modes first and third person if you hit tab you can see that you have health stamina energy which I refer to as hunger most of the time and hydration now your energy and your hydration will go down over time and energy and hydration are probably your biggest opponents in this game next to players and then zombies because zombies are a little bit easy to kill right now but players are very dangerous as well but these are a constant struggle in this game but there is a couple things you can do to really help prepare you for survival and some things that you can do that are, it, it seems a little uh, it seems a little crazy, but you can actually live off of berries if you wanted to. I've survived hours before off of nothing but berries. But before we get to that, let's cover a couple other things. So when you first start out, you're going to start out with a belt pouch, blue jeans, a bundle of gauze, flare, and a t-shirt, and then also a flashlight. Now, I generally drop the flashlight right away because you don't need it unless you are at nighttime, you don't have your gamma up on your monitor or something like that. It does help some in some regards. Second thing to note is that your proximity items. This refers to anything that is around you. Maybe if you break a crate, you find there's some food there, but you can't see it. You can hit I to search proximity, and you can see everything that's around you. So I just dropped that flashlight. You can see within my proximity, there's the flashlight. If you right-click on your gauze and your bundle of gauze, you will un you can unpack it, and then you have five gauze. This will help stop bleeding, provide you a little bit of health regen back, and then also you want to keep your flare because I think your flare is pretty important for starting out lighting fires and things like that but you don't necessarily need that because you can also make something that will ignite fires very easily and something that will stay on you and you won't it doesn't have like a one-time use so I usually drop this as well you don't have to you can hold on to it if you want to but I generally drop that just to keep my inventory clean now secondly move your gauze to your belt pouch and then also shred your jeans and your shirt because this will provide you with cloth. So then uh, shred your pants up. And now we have eight scraps of cloth. So the next thing to note is your crafting area and your discovery tabs. Crafting will allow you to craft different things that you have discovered. And to discover something, you just click on the discovery tab and then click an item to drag it into this area and you can drag multiple items in here and get different recipes so you can see I just drag this in here and you can see I get the recipe for a satchel and now if you click it again you can see that there are 10 recipes also in addition to that that you can still find add more components to begin discovering recipes to make from them so we found 
a satchel. Now, this is very important because this actually holds 300 uh, bulk weight, essentially. Like, as you can see, this little thing right here says bulk 8. That is essentially when you add this up, a total is 13 out of 100. And so you have a number of how much you can actually carry bulk-wise within a certain item. So you can see the belt pouch has 100, and we're currently using 13. And so a satchel is 300. So the items that we started with, a shirt and pants, we rip those up and we'll gain more slots as a result. So we made a satchel. Now, it's also important to note that things that you discover, you won't actually lose. They'll stay in your inventory. It just helps you find the recipe. So now we have a satchel with 0 of 300. Now, the next thing we want to do is very important. We still have two scrap cloths left. You have gauze, so there's no need to make a bandage, which we can make because we have two scraps of cloth. You don't have a need to do that. What you can do instead with this cloth is something that's pretty important, and that is make a bow. Now, to make a bow, some people will look for crates and bust crates and get wood planks that way and then craft those into sticks, but there's actually a way easier way to do that, to find sticks. So if you see any of these bushes like this, these white little trees, little sprouts, you can actually go up to them and hit E and you'll gain a wood stick. And so you can just do that a bunch of times as you go along and you can just gather as many sticks as you want. This is a very easy way to find basic resources. So then what we're going to do is go to discovery, hit sticks, hit cloth, and we can hit discover. We have a makeshift bow. Now you can make the bow with a scrap of cloth and a wood stick. That's not very effective if you don't have any arrows. So you can see that we crafted that and went into our primary slot. We can switch this around if we want to, but I'm just going to keep it in primary for now. But we need to discover how to make arrows. So if you click sticks again and you click discover, we uh, discovered an arrow. So we go back to crafting. You can see now to make an arrow, we need one stick. And when we make, we get a bundle bulk two. So you can just go around find a bunch of these little bushes and make a bunch of arrows to first start out. Now the next thing, like I said, to keep in mind is uh, your hydration and your energy or hunger. And this will go down over time. And like I said, I have survived hours off of doing nothing but eating berries. And to, to gather berries, you just find these yellow plants and click E. You could also kill deer and uh, take the meat from them if you have something to, to take the meat from them with and then you can cook that in a fire and we'll kind of talk about how to do that as well but for now I'm just going to show you how to gather some berries now you can do all of these things literally within probably a minute or two if you're in a good spawn area now you see every time that we eat this number and this number will go up ever so slightly and we can continue to do this until we get maxed out if we wanted to and it's just a very basic way to survive. Now you're prepared to go into town because I have a bow, you have arrows, we're good to go. And so if I run into any zombies or anything, I can kill them right away. And you can continue to gather berries if you want or whatever. I'm going to head over here, I'm going to gather some more arrows, and then we're going to head into town. Because there's probably some kind of civilization very close to us. And the combat system in this game is also very easy and very basic. Left mouse button to punch or fire, right mouse button to bring something up, left mouse button to fire. Using your bow is very simple, but keep in mind that you do have drop over distance, so you do have to compensate as well. So like I said, the next thing you probably should do after doing these things, because I think that this is very important right away, is to head into into town, find some kind of civilization, and start looting and try to get some better weaponry melee weapons some maybe a machete or an axe or something or hopefully even a gun and some ammunition and so we spawn over here so just know like i said their players could spawn here so in this area right in here this is one of the spawn locations and you can see i can see a gas station sign already over the distance so let's just say that this wasn't here this wasn't right across the street but you can see it's very easy to find civilization what you could do is just follow the road until you found something it's as simple as that so we're going to run in here, and we're going to uh, start looting, and hopefully we find something. Now, just keep in mind, like I said, there are players, there are zombies, there are the elements, and you might die. There are bears, there are wolves, there are dangers around every corner. Now, you can loot cars, you can loot wooden chests, you can find things all over the place. And keep an eye out, because things could be laying anywhere. And remember, like I said, if you're in a tight area... Um, 
you can use proximity loot to uh, also search. So I'm going to hit E. That's how you search or interact with an object, like we were interacting with the berry bushes and stuff out there. And you see somebody's already been through here, busted a bunch of stuff up. But I'm going to go through and I'm just going to show you that you can bust crates by punching them. And from and from them, you see you drop it drops a wooden plank. And sometimes there's also food, and so it's very important to loot all of these and make note of the fact that you can find all kinds of stuff in here. Now I'm just gonna head out of here because I doubt that there's anything in here. I'm gonna because I also want to note that there are dumpsters around these buildings, and you should loot these because sometimes you will find um, like binos or things like that in the in the dumpsters and so uh, you just want to make sure you're looking everywhere this is just a very basic look at your first I would say five minutes of the game I know this video is a lot longer than five minutes but this is a look at your first five minutes I think of starting out in the game and some things that you should do right away like I said a lot of the things I showed in this video can be completed in a very short amount of time so there's nothing anywhere we're, uh, this has all been looted. And so if I needed to, if I couldn't find loot, I can just survive off of berries and a lot of different stuff. What's up, man? How's it going? Hello. You doing all right? I'm good. Well, have a good night, man. Use that middle mouse button, be friendly, and hopefully you won't get killed. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to be it for this episode, this basic look at how to survive in this game. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. If you have, please click that thumbs up button below. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.